I'm not sure how I came up uh, with the idea for Breaking Bad. Uh, I just know it popped into my head during a phone conversation I was having with a, a buddy of mine. And he and I were talking about uh, what we were going to do for work because both of us at, at that point were unemployed. We were talking about maybe uh, taking up a different line of endeavor. He was talking about should we go you know, learn how to do people's taxes or should we go be greeters at Walmart. Then he floated the idea of buying a, a used RV and cooking crystal meth and driving all around the Southwest. I think he was joking. But uh, when he came up with that idea, I thought it was very interesting in terms of who would do such a thing. And, and as I was thinking about this on this phone conversation, right in the middle of this phone call, you know, this idea for this character sort of clicked into my head. Uh, I didn't have a name for him at that point. He would later be known as Walter White. I think I was fascinated by the idea of a, of a good person who willfully decides to become a criminal. And I think that when you become interested in such a character and you, you write for that character, you inhabit that character's brain, if you will, as a writer for, for days and weeks and months on end. You take little baby steps toward that world that the character lives in, and you start to inhabit that world, at least in your mind. And, and luckily, you don't really live there for real. But the more time you spend in that character's head, the more time you spend in that character's world, and, and the more you, you learn about it. You, uh, you want to cook crystal meth? You. You and, uh, and me. <laughs> That's right. Wow. Either that, or I turn you in. When you create a show in which the main character decides to become a meth cook, you're, you're sort of hanging yourself out there, painting a the target on your back. And before Breaking Bad first aired, there, there were some rumbles of, of discontent from people who had never laid eyes on it. And anyone who watches 10 minutes of the show realizes that we don't in any way, shape, or form condone what it is Walter White has chosen to do with his you know, last few months or years of life. It's, it's a bad choice, in my opinion, to decide to cook crystal meth, but it makes for a very interesting drama. No one would trade lives with these people. They know that this is a horrible world. Obviously, you can make money doing it, but it's not a fun process. You know, it's a horrible process, so I don't think, I don't think it glamorizes it. You know, when people talk about, is someone successful, they always have that connotation of how much money does one make and in our show there is a lot of money being thrown around and it is a temptation and it is making men succumb to that allure quite honestly I don't know anyone who would want to trade places with Walter White so if there is any conversation out there about it being somewhat favorable to the, the drug world or, you know, lawlessness. I don't see it. Hold on there. Hey, uh, wh what was the offer, if I may ask? That's uh, three million for three months of my time. Well, you, you're going to need that money laundered, right? I mean, of course. What was our deal before? 17%. Now, that's a shade high. Now, mm. let's settle on an even 15. That's nice round number. Breaking Bad does show that crime can pay in, in strictly monetary terms, uh, although it's interesting, you know, as, as we saw at the end of uh, season three, we realized that, that Walt has a whole lot of money that he can't very easily spend because the making of, of illegal money is one thing, the spending of it is quite another. You go out and suddenly uh, have a giant bass boat in your driveway, the IRS is gonna come knocking, your neighbors are gonna wonder where you suddenly came into such a financial windfall. And as we show on the series, it's, it can be kind of a situation of water, water everywhere, and not a drop to drink. It's hard to spend all this money. Now that we're in our fourth season, what's so unique about Breaking Bad is that it's ever-changing. Like chemistry itself, in the pilot episode, I said it's the study of change. And so is this show. It's constantly changing. And those of us who are connected, deeply connected to this show, will tell you that even though we read all the scripts and we're working on this diligently, we're pouring our energies over it, it's still surprising to us. When the storylines come, we didn't see things, and it's like, wow, it's amazing, the nuance. 
that come out of the stories. I'm astounded by the success of our show. I can't even believe it's on the air. I am amazed every day and, and, and feel blessed every day that the, the show exists and that it's gone on as long as it's gone on. I'm as surprised as anyone. Thank you.